If you're a skilled worker and want to move to Germany to work, then this video is for you. Let me help you move to be a part of the strongest economy in Europe. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. In this video, I want to help you immigrate to Germany as a skilled worker. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, no time is better than right now. Do it so you can stay updated on our visas and videos and get a free cheat sheet for this visa. We publish three new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe. Let's go. Who is an eligible skilled worker? Skilled workers come in two categories, people with professional training and people with academic training. Whatever your degree is, it must be recognized and accepted by German authorities. If you have professional training, it is necessary to complete an officially recognized professional training program. German law requires it to be at least two years. If you have academic training, you must have achieved an academic degree from a university, college, or education center. An MA or BA is an example of a degree you must earn. Okay, skilled workers can take the job position in Germany if they can prove to be qualified skilled workers. They must be able to perform the job and work in it well. According to the new changes in German law, IT specialists with highly developed practical professional knowledge do not need recognition. They can come to Germany without recognition and practice their occupation. All right, what are the requirements to become a qualified skilled worker in Germany? Number one, a recognized degree. Your education must be recognized in Germany. Doesn't matter if you have professional training or academic training, your education must be recognized in Germany. In some majors like dentistry and medicine, you must receive a degree from the government and pass a test. If you have completed your education in Germany, you don't need to get recognition for your degree. According to new changes, you can submit your application before your degree gets recognized. Also, in some cases, you can move to Germany and start working before your degree gets recognized. Okay, number two, job offer. It is mandatory. It must lead to a written contract with details about the employment with a German employer. Don't pay any money in exchange for a job. It might be a scam. These websites can help you look for a job offer. Also, you can apply for a Germany tourist visa or job seeker visa and enter the country to look for a job. Number three, work permits. When German officials agree with the job offer, they will issue work permits. You need it to apply for a work visa and enter the country. You must get the permit before the visa. The work permit is permission to work in Germany while the visa is authorization to enter the country. A work permit allows you to stay for longer than 90 days. Number four, leaving your country. You must have a valid passport or travel documents to leave your country. You also need a clean record certificate most of the time. Number five, supporting documents. You have to have supporting documents for a work permit and work visa. You must send the work permit requirements to the employer and he or she submits them to the German authorities. Then, you must submit the work visa documents to the German embassy in your home country. Not all non-EU nationals need a visa to enter Germany. Nationals of the US, Canada, Israel, Japan, South Korea, and Australia are exempt from entrance visas. Nationals of these countries can move to Germany and stay up to 90 days, but for longer stays, they need a residence permit or work permit. Okay, number six, 
financial independence. You must prove you can cover your expenses through the income from your job or your savings and uh, previous income. Yeah. If you want to bring your family, you must have enough to cover them as well. Okay, here's a question. How to move to Germany as a skilled worker? Step one, get your degree recognized. If German officials don't recognize your degree, you may not work in the country. There are different rules and conditions for people with various professions. You must find out what requirements are for your major. If your degree is not recognized in Germany, you can get a German internship visa and participate in training courses in Germany. You may stay in Germany for a year or sometimes up to 18 months and get training in the field you qualify for. You must meet German fluency requirements. Really important. During your internship, you can work in limited conditions. Okay, step two, find a job offer with a German employer. The German employer must apply for a work permit to bring you to the country. Step three, apply for a work permit. Your German employer applies for a work permit on your behalf. Send your documents to your employer and they must submit the supporting documents to German officials. If required, you must wait and submit further documents. Okay, step four, get a work visa. After getting a work permit, you can apply for a work visa at the German embassy or consulate in your country. You can watch our video about German work visas to learn more. I will put the link in the description. Okay, another question. How long can I work in Germany as a skilled worker? The initial validity of a work permit is up to the duration of the work contract, the type of work permit, and the German authorities' decision. You can work in Germany as long as your employment is valid and you hold a valid work permit. Also, obey the national laws and commit no criminal offenses in Germany to stay. Okay, can you bring your family to Germany? Yes. Your spouse and single children can apply with you and enter Germany if your salary is enough to cover your entire family's expenses. You cannot get any support from the German government. Also, it is required that your spouse learn some German before moving to Germany. A1 language proficiency level is often required. Also, you must have suitable accommodation for the family. Another question. What to do if you lose your job in Germany? If your employer is not willing to extend your contract, you must find a new job offer. Your new employer must submit a new application for a work permit so your stay becomes illegal. You have to do it while your previous residence permit is valid. You often have up to three months to get a new residence permit. Otherwise, your stay is illegal and there will be heavy consequences. All right. What are the most in-demand jobs in Germany? We have civil engineers or architects, uh, account managers or business analysts, uh, electronics engineers, computer science or IT professionals, and software developers and uh, mechanical engineers. Okay, another question. How much is a skilled worker's salary in Germany? The money part. <laughs> It is up to your occupation and many other factors. But in general, you can get about 3,810 euros per month. Mechanical engineers get $50,020 a year. IT experts get uh, 49,900 euros. Software developers get 50,150 euros. Business analysts get uh, 52,020 euros. 
Account managers get 42,580 euros and civil engineers get 41,760 euros. Well, there you go. Now you can immigrate to Germany as a skilled worker. If the steps were so confusing, don't worry. I put a cheat sheet on our website. Go ahead and download it. Link is in the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube's algorithm. You can also follow our social media accounts. Links are in the description. If you have any type of visa that you want to know about, write the name in the comment section and we will make a video for it. Thank you all for watching.